this interview is between me and my grandpa, and we did this over spring break in Germany. And what we are discussing is his involvement in the company GM, which is an auto industry company, and just the work he did there. Enjoy. What car company did you work for, and what was your position within this company? I worked for the General Motors Company. Uh, it was located in Warren, Michigan at the GM Tech Center and I was supervisor of aluminum casting technology development. What is aluminum casting? Aluminum casting is a manufacturing process. Uh, what it involves is melting aluminum, uh, melts at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you take this molten aluminum and you pour it into a, a mold or a cavity that has the shape of the part that you'd like to cast. So you pour the aluminum into this cavity and after the aluminum uh, cools down and solidifies, you open up the mold and you will have a casting or a part of the shape of the mold. In other words, you've made an aluminum casting. Why was aluminum casting becoming important in the auto industry? Well, the period that I'm talking about here is the early 1970s. And back then was what was called, uh, we had, I believe it's called the first oil embargo when the uh, oil from the Middle East, which was our major supplier at the time, was, uh, was being limited in supply. And so the result was higher gasoline prices and less gas available. And this resulted in a lot of lines at the pumps and everything. And one of the results of this was that the government uh, decided that maybe it was time to start imposing uh, fuel economy restrictions on automobiles. In other words, improving the miles per gallon. And um, one of the ways of doing this is, of course, to reduce the weight of the vehicle. The lighter the vehicle, the less energy is needed to propel it. And one of the ways of reducing weight in an automobile is by replacing iron castings, which are relatively heavy, with aluminum castings, which are about one-third the weight. And so that was the, one of the incentives for looking at uh, aluminum casting technology. Were you involved in any new aluminum casting technology? Well, yes, there were, there were several new technologies that we were exploring and investigating at the time, but there's one in particular that I'd like to uh, talk about, and that's a process called lost foam casting. And the basic principle of this process is that you make a replica or a duplicate of the part that you'd like to cast, and you make it out of styrofoam. And I'm talking the same thing you see in styrofoam coffee cups, except you would, you would mold the part that you want to cast out of styrofoam to start with. Then you take this styrofoam part and you would put it in a box, fill the box up with sand, leaving a hole at the top. Then you would take your molten aluminum, pour it through that hole and it would go down and it would completely vaporize the styrofoam and replace it. So in effect, when you were done, you had an aluminum casting. After it had solidified and cooled down, you had an aluminum casting that was the same shape and size as the styrofoam part that you started with. And that's the basic concept of the lost foam process. How did you help get the Central Foundry Division to use this lost foam casting? Well, first of all, the Central Foundry Division was a division of General Motors that was responsible for making most of the castings used in General Motors cars, and, and that would be both cast iron and aluminum. Um, the uh, reason that we decided to accelerate our uh, experiments with the lost foam casting process was because it offered potential for lower cost and the ability to produce in high volumes. And of course about this time, as I mentioned in the, in the 1970s when they were talking about fuel economy regulations, the uh, president of General Motors uh, came out to the GM Tech Center and his sole purpose for coming out that day was to be briefed on new developments in manufacturing of aluminum parts and plastic parts. And I was asked to give the presentation uh, about aluminum parts, particularly castings. And as part of my presentation, I talked about the lost foam casting process and where we saw the potential. Uh, President, uh, President of GM, whose name is Pete Estes, uh, asked uh, if we had an active program with Central Foundry on this new process. And I mentioned that uh, Central Foundry was aware of the process. We had uh, shown them the process, but we really didn't have an active program. Uh, at that point, uh, President Estes turned to his assistant and said, uh, when we get back to the office, I want you to put in a call to Central Foundry Division for me. Did GM pursue this process of lost foam casting? 
Well, yes, as a matter of fact, they did. Within, within a couple of weeks of uh, President Estes visiting the Tech Center, we received a uh, phone call from Central Foundry Division, and they said that they were very interested in entering into a project with us. So that really started the uh, major development work on the lost phone process. And it took several years. There was a lot of work to be done, a lot of technology to be developed, uh, equipment to be designed, processes to be established. Uh, but we, we proceeded ahead with, with uh, great support from Central Foundry Division. As it turns out, about that time, General Motors was developing a new vehicle program that turned out to be the Saturn vehicle, which I think you're all familiar with. And uh, one of the things about the Saturn uh, program was that it was to use the latest technology in, in their vehicle, both in terms of aluminum and plastics. And through some very uh, creative and innovative uh, design work by the engineers, the automotive uh, engine engineers, they were able to design a radically new engine block for the Saturn engine that was made by the lost foam casting process. And uh, it was put into trial production, everything was successful, the product was, the quality was where it needed to be, and so the Saturn engine, or the Saturn vehicle, went into production with an aluminum block made by the lost foam casting process. And I don't know how many were made, but I'm sure it was probably several million engines were made that way.